Uh, so we can begin that um, your name is Aaron Bohannon, right? Am I mm -hmm. saying that right? Right, because it's yes. spelled A-R. <laughs> yeah, right. it's a weird one, but you got it. <laughs> you got it right. And you are a cast member in Six the Musical, which is coming to St. Louis next week. Yeah. Can you want to just begin by a little introduction of, you know, a little bit about your background and how you came on to, you know, the musical? Of course, yeah. So I'm an alternate, which basically means I'm an understudy for three different roles for Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, and Katherine Howard. Yeah. I'm actually from Missouri. I lived in St. Louis for four years uh, when I was growing up, and we visited often after we moved because we just loved it so much. And I am so excited to see and be in the Fox Theater because, oh my gosh, the fabulous Fox is one of the most beautiful theaters I've ever mm -hmm. seen. And I saw Motown there, like, I think like seven years ago it was back when I was in high school and it was like that theater blew my mind I have wanted to perform on that stage ever since so yeah I grew up doing theater I've always lived in Missouri whenever I was growing up mm -hmm. and I just fell in love with it there oh that's awesome well you already talked about the fabulous Fox now I'm curious I didn't even have yeah. this <laughs> but um so you've been to a lot of theaters around this mm -hmm. one really stands out from others that you've been to Oh yeah, this is this is the one I was looking forward to just because I have that personal connection to it. Mm -hmm. But every theater we have been in, it's insane how mm -hmm. the architecture and the interior design is so different, but also so beautiful in every single place we've been in. Yeah. So, well, you also said you're an alternate, and I mm -hmm. looked it up you that you play, you know, <laughs> substitute for Anne Boleyn, mm -hmm. Jane Seymour, and Catherine Howard. That's right. So how difficult is it to have, you know, play, have to be ready at all times for these multiple roles and any given night you're playing different roles? Like how difficult is it? And do you get confused ever? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I get that question a lot, but surprisingly, the confusion doesn't happen. I think because the roles are so specific and then you put that very specific costume on, I'm very much like, okay, I am this person now. I do this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. And the choreography by Carrie Ann is just so incredibly well thought out that it just makes sense where your queen goes next. So I don't think the confusion has thankfully ever, knock on wood, ever happened. But um, it is honestly such a fun job to go in not knowing what you're going to do that day. And I feel very thankful because I am a person who loves a challenge. And this is a very challenging career that I have brought myself into, um, but in such a fun way. And I feel so much support from the onstage queens, the creative team, my other alt sisters, like we all support each other so much that I'm never scared to go on. Oh, that's so. awesome. That's awesome. Now, I know you've probably been, you, you asked this question a lot also, if you have like a favorite <laughs> character you play. And oh my I was like, I feel like that's almost like picking a favorite child, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, right? Is. It is. I love them all for such different reasons. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I feel like the one I relate to the most is Anne Boleyn. So in that sense, I think that would probably be my choice uh, just because, you know, the green is so fun to put on and mm -hmm. she's so like punk rock. And my biggest inspiration when I was a kid was Avril Lavigne. And that's the queen, like that's the pop icon that she's modeled after for uh -huh. the show. So I think that just like really pulls me towards her. But I absolutely... I can't choose. It's too hard. <laughs> They're okay. all so fun. Well, it's funny you mentioned Anne Boleyn, Aaron, because I took my DNA in three tests and they say I'm like a descendant of her. So that we should be besties. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh my gosh, for real? Yeah, That's like so the crazy. DNA, it'll tell you what the descendants of and it said Anne Boleyn. And I was like, oh, You were like, <gasps> he is my favorite of the wives. Oh my gosh. <laughs> why maybe I should take that test maybe that's why she's my favorite <laughs> oh my gosh so, this is your first national tour right mm -hmm. yes and what's that experience being like you know just the dynamics with touring with a cast and and going yeah. from city to city like tell me a little about it I mean, honestly as somebody who's like a homebody that was the biggest challenge I think for me was going outside of my home and traveling the country and like being away from home for so long. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's been also so incredibly rewarding and educational because the less I am at home, the more I learn about myself as an individual, which is very fun. Yeah. Um, and this is my first like actual like theater job. Like I graduated in 2021. So this being my like starting like vaulting point has been 
so incredibly overwhelming and I'm so grateful to be in such a large scale production, but it's so, it's so indescribably, like, I don't know how to, like, I can't put it into words. It's so fun and also so scary in a good way. I think it's a good like it's a good thing to get out of my comfort zone so it's been wonderful and seeing the country just while doing my job has been so incredible I bet I bet um and you already brought up that you're from this area you grew Mm -hmm. up in Springfield yeah which first of all that's where Brad Pitt grew up right yes yes. (laughs) so I just had to know what's in the water over there that's my (laughs) first thing I'm wondering <laughs> but I didn't know you were actually lived in St. Louis also. Yeah. And is your family still in this area? No, my family's actually spread out across the country since I've grown up and moved out. Okay. Um, but I do have a lot of family in Oklahoma. So like the Midwest is very much where home is for me, even okay. though I live in New York now, but the Midwest is where I grew up and all my family is. So when you're in town, what are you excited about seeing or doing? Or eating. I, That's what I'm like. Oh, oh the, yeah. the pizza. <laughs> the pizza. Yes. I love Emo's pizza from St. Louis. So mm-hmm. good. Um, so I think my most excited thing is I have friends who live there now who go to college there. Okay. And I'm actually staying with one during the run of our show. Mm-hmm. So like seeing my friends and getting to like talk to them because mm-hmm. I haven't seen them since like high school. Yeah. So that is what I'm looking forward to the most. And also, of course, like being in St. Louis is going to be incredible no matter what. Yeah. Seeing my old hometown is going to be mm-hmm. so rewarding. So your friends, are they coming to the show? And, yes. you know, are you nervous to perform <laughs> in front of people that you know? <laughs> I, yes and no. I okay. Yes, in the sense of like, I want them to be proud of me. <laughs> but uh-huh. also like, no, in the sense of, I know no matter what, they're going to be so kind and just, I'm so happy that they get to be there. Yeah. <laughs> I would be nervous, but I know when you're on stage, <laughs> you're a professional, you're a professional. I got to do it. It's what I get paid to do. I got to put yeah. on a face, you know? <laughs> so um, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I have one last question that I have got to ask because That's I had read that you were um, growing up like a musical theater nerd that you had yeah, said this, right? Biggest and nerd up. <laughs> I have a musical theater nerd, my daughter, <laughs> who Yay! I'm waiting to see the show. She's never seen it. And this is her first time, but that's like what ner- musical theater nerds are, right? She's never seen it, yeah. but she knows the whole entire soundtrack. <laughs> I, I relate to her a lot. <laughs> yeah. And she's a high, you know, uh, a freshman in high school and the drama club does everything uh, with every theater production. Like even if she's the crew, for, you know, the crew, yes. the theater crew to the cast, everything. So yes. I was wondering just advice you would give to her or just kids her age that are also musical theater nerds about following their dream? Absolutely. Um, I think nothing is impossible. You just have to keep being sure of yourself. That's the only thing that even matters in this industry is your confidence in yourself and knowing who you are. That to me is what really got me to where I am. Like I was the same as her living in Missouri, like being a huge theater nerd, going to theater classes, being like, oh my gosh, this is my biggest dream. And it felt so untangible, like so far away, so unreachable. But then as soon as you get into it and you just push yourself and you keep going for what you want, it is possible. Somebody has to do it. You know, that's the thing that I always got told when I was a kid. And I was like, yeah, yeah, but I'm just like a little girl from the Midwest. What am I going to do? But then I just kept being told that. And that idea got instilled in me of somebody has to do it. And I was like, that can be me. I can be the someone doing it. So I think just that self-motivation of I can do this. I am good at this and I will do this. Oh, you're going to make me tear up, (laughs) Erin. That's better than advice I had. (laughs) (laughs) Did you have like professional training at a younger age or was it only till you got into college? So I did go through a very rigorous theater program at my community theater, Springfield Little Theater in Springfield, Missouri. Um, I went through this thing called the pre-professional track, which was basically I opted to go homeschool so I could focus more on performance and performance art. Mm -hmm. So I would take dance classes like five times a week. I take acting three times a week, like very, very like for high schoolers, especially very rigorous program, but Uh I just fell in love with it so much. There was nothing else I wanted to do. Um, But then I got the 
like more quote unquote professional training, I went to Boston Conservatory for college and I went there for musical theater. So that's where I got my, uh, that's where I got my titled <laughs> mm-hmm. degree programming. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if Brad Pitt did that same program in, uh, in Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> Call him and ask. <laughs> well, thank you again for joining uh, me, of you know, course. and chatting thank with you. us. And I can't wait to see it. I can't wait. I'm going to be cheering for you. When yes. I see on team, I'm like, thank I know you. Erin. You know her. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been lovely. Thanks. And enjoy St. Louis. Get some of that Emo's pizza. Oh, Lily. and the Fabulous Fox. The, the show is coming to the Fabulous Fox January 24th through February 5th. So next week, I'll be there next Saturday. Yeah. So I'll be looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> woohoo! I can't wait. <laughs>